All right, so for our next trick, we're going to take uh, two by twos, run them horizontally across the top, front and back, maybe another one in the middle, I'm not sure yet. And then we're going to take the fence slats and run them uh, short ways across the top as well to make the tabletop. And just as a quick reminder, our actual crate width here, our depth is 23 and a half. And I want this to overhang five inches on either side. So we're going for actually 33 and a half inches on the length of these guys. I want to have maybe just a little bit left over so I can trim them down later on if I need to. So we're actually going to be going for is 30, uh, maybe 35. And then I want to double check and make sure I have enough to actually get two of these out of here. So 35 at 70 inches, we should be long enough. 70 inches brings me to, oh yeah. Just enough. Let's clamp that down, make it a little easier on myself. So I'm going to be careful not to cut the back edge here. firm grip on it, don't let it get away from you. Especially when you're holding the guard open like that. That's how you lose a leg. Alright, so now we're gonna we already measured off the second set here and we're just gonna use our speed square and mark this off as well. Alright now this time we're only cutting through two pieces so hopefully it's not gonna bind up on me like it did last time but again you just gotta be aware of what you're doing. Alright, so for the supporting 2x2s, two I'm going to take this, and this, the crate itself is 41 inches, or a little, a little more than 41 inches. So, uh, and we want to go again over on the other side by 5 inches, so that brings our total up to uh, 50, 51, probably 52 inches. Um, but I want my 2x2s my two two to be hidden when we're all done, so we're actually going to drop them back an inch on each side, so that brings me from uh, 52 down to 50 even. So that's what we're going to cut those at. So again, we're doing 50 inches. Do this right here. Again. Got Just like that. So this time, because these guys are so long, we don't want it to bind up on me again. So we put these saw horses to catch them when they fall. He can be taught. Alright, so these are actually going to serve to both support the tabletop and to reinforce this guy who's still more wobbly than I'd like him to be. And there's actually two pieces here. So we've got the front piece and this back piece, which is actually not attached to anything. And if you look at the other pieces, in order for this to line up properly, uh, we can put there and here. Either goes like that, or if I wanted to sit in front all the way, then I need to go all the way up here, right here, in the line, and then here. And I think that's the way we're going to do it. Now, on the back side, we don't actually have that opportunity because, again, these cross members they don't come all the way up. He doesn't either. And this guy here. So I think what we're going to do on this side is just leave it flush with this this piece here. So that's that's how we're going to attach that back one. Next guess, or next point is to make sure we get them perfectly centered. So I'm going to need to put, make sure I mark the center point here 
to make sure it lines up with the center point of the actual uh, crate as well. Okay, so the center, so my, my board is 50 inches long as you remember, so I'm going to mark it at 25. Mark him at 25 as well. Okay. So now we're going to pre drill holes. And hopefully keep my, because my board's fairly split from being just old. So I'm going to try and keep it from getting any worse as we go through here. So now what we're going to do is take some extra boards, have them up from underneath, and uh, use those to hold the doors in place. It's going to be kind of tricky because I'm pretty sure the, the clamps themselves are going to be getting in the way of the doors. So now I've already learned my lesson on this top board, so we're going to pre-drill these holes. and. Uh, Hopefully it'll save me some trouble later on, especially since this right here is the piece that broke off and we glued back on. Automatically I can see that our doors want to slide in a little bit. Not unexpected. And actually they want to come out. Fairly good too, so there won't be as much rasping as I thought. And this one's already already clear, so I'm happy with this. So actually, what we're going to do is take this piece that I already had clamped in there. We're going to clamp it back on and go ahead and drill it and uh, screw it in place. And that's going to keep those doors from wanting to sag in like they are right now. This door works pretty much just as expected. This one jams just a little bit. We're gonna have to take some of this edge off right on the corner here. Uh, we can get that done and then we can start on the top. All right, so a little bit of rasping there. And quite a bit better. This one's already good, so. All right, and move on to the top. I'm positioning them so the nicest side is up, and any uh, knots or whatnot will be closer to the back. So what I'm doing now is I took this guy on top here, and I'm going to use him to keep these last few pieces from just falling off the edges all the time. But then also I'm going to go around and I'm going to measure to make sure I'm actually five inches from the side everywhere I go. All right, so it turns out my last board is, of course, going to be significantly cut down, and I'm trying to figure out if I want to do that, or if I just want to even them out. Okay, so a little remeasuring, and basically I wanted 51 inches, not 55 inches. Um, but I kind of like, I don't want to have just a partial board in here, so I think what we're going to do is just space this out evenly, so that we're going to go ahead and add that extra uh, 4 inches on either side. And I think I have enough support underneath to go ahead and cover that, but I'm going to double check next. All right, so this top support is uh, 50 inches. We got 55 inches of boards up here. So uh, we actually have an extra two and a half inch lip on the sides, and uh, that'll take care of it. All right, so side to side, we're good to go. Now we just got to make sure we're good to go front to back. So as you recall, we cut each of these boards long so we could trim them off later. So uh, what we're actually going to do is give myself, a, I think, a six inch on the front, which would give me more than five inches on the back, and then we'll trim it all off at five inches and call it good. All right, so after a not insignificant amount of sliding anything back and forth to get it in just the right spot, I think we have it where it needs to be. So we're going to use these guys to get everything tightened down. So we got him all fastened down. Now all we gotta do is just trim up the edges and we'll be good to go. 
this is a rip cut guide. We're not going to be ripping these panel boards, but basically the same concept. What we're going to do is just set this up so it's pretty much flush with the front, clamp it down, and use it as a guide to cut off the edges. So, there we have it. One completed crate turned into a table. So, I gotta say it was a little more complicated than expected, not a lot. But um, the finished product, I think, looks about what I expected it to. So, all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah. Thanks for watching.